Okay. Okay. Okay, so, the, so we're going to answer some questions. So the first question I have is from Carrie H. And it says, what does know your worth mean? So it's a bit, that's a big question. So knowing your worth can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But for me is seeing yourself in a, a positive light, seeing yourself um, as someone that is, um, is, is taking care of themselves in a way that makes them better for themselves so they can be better for others. And so every decision we make in our lives, everything we think about what somebody thinks about us, um, all those things are tied into our, our self-worth. So having a high self-worth, you're able to navigate the world a lot differently because you navigate it in a way that is very beneficial, brings you a lot of peace and happiness, which again is what benefits anybody and everybody that's around you. So um, again, it can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but directly, shortly, that's what it would mean. That means to me. Okay. So second question, this one is from Christian D and it's uh, asking about self forgiveness. So this is another one that is extremely important to me. Um, and that I also refer to a lot in the book about forgiving yourself first. And you, if you want to get, if you want to get into a place where it's easier to forgive others and uh, understand what your participation and your part, no matter what uh, the other person did and what was damaging. It all ties into that whole whole part that you cannot control someone else. You can't control the way they think, what they do, uh, make them give you an apology, do all these things that you that that you seek out and that you're still hurting about. But if you get down to understanding that you can control yourself and how you look at it and how you respond and you react to those things that happen to you, you can then start forgiving yourself for a lot of those ways that you reacted and handled it, which has caused you problems going forward, still keeps you angry, all of these things. So you forgiving yourself first is, is just opens the gates to make it easier to forgive others. And that is what is just going to keep, push the needle just leapfrog so many things to get to where you want to get. And again, we're is getting to that point where we're calmer, we have more peace and happiness, and we move forward in a different way that benefits us, that then spews all over the world. Instead of all that stuff you're holding on to because you haven't forgiven yourself, that's your spewing all over the world. Okay. So third question is this is from Bear B. So it's uh, Bear B says fears and balance to face them. Okay, so fears is is it's not real. Fears are what you're creating in your head. Fears are that's what bringing you your anxiety. That's what's what's putting you into your your depressive states, into your paralyzing states. Not you know it just stops you from from moving forward to. To um, and and that's that is a that it right now has to stop. It doesn't. You, you can't sometimes just 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 not. Ha Your fears aren't just going to go away, but you have to walk through them. You have to remember they're they're you've put them in your head. It's a difference between understanding your mind will tell you that look if you go jump in that pond in in the swamps in Florida. There's a good chance there's alligators in there. That's not the fear we're talking about here. We're talking about the fear of you doing things that that are hard, that are difficult, that that could be going back and facing uh, some of those demons, those traumas. Those are things you have to do. You can't move forward until you deal with that fear of that pain of revisiting what is, again, this is part of the cognitive behavioral therapy that will move you forward with what you're dealing with now. So, fear. 
Okay. Next question. This is from K Doodle. Um, how to let people go. You, you have to get good at that. You have to get good at letting people go. And so expanding on that just a little bit is look, there's, there's, especially when you're trying to, to move yourself forward in this life, you're trying to, to heal, you're trying to get better. Your people are not going to like that because you, you've got people in your life now that like you the way you are. That, that's, that's a lot of reasons they're in your life is because they can maybe manipulate you a little bit or you put them first all the time or you're over giving or you're all whatever it could be that's benefiting them. When you start getting better, they're, they're, they're going to not be happy about it. So you have to understand that that's what you need not to be in your ear when you're trying to get better. So sometimes you have to push those people away, let them go. Some it's okay. It's sometimes they're family members. Sometimes they're very important people to you that you've had lifelong relationships with. And I always say, you can love. You can still you can love people from a distance. Okay. You, you don't have to not love me anymore. You don't have to think about it. But for right now, so you can strengthen yourself up, sometimes you just, you, you got to make those decisions. Either, you know, push them over, just get them out of the way a little bit, set, set a strong boundary for, for a minute. Or sometimes you just have to let people go. They're just not part of the equation anymore. This is from um, Ophelia L. So this is all it says is faith. So I get a lot of questions asked about, am I religious? Um, uh, I don't get a lot of asked if I'm, if I'm spiritual. It's just a, a lot. Are you religious or are you Christian? Or I have a lot of people from other countries. You know, we're, we're a broad audience, as you, you guys all know. Um, and um, there's always, you know, I, Please read the book of Quran or please do these things like that. And and I don't ever address them. Um, I don't, um, I don't, but, but I'm going to address this in faith. So I do have a strong faith for me. I'm, I'm very spiritual. I do believe there is someone greater than myself. And I do call them God uh, because that's how I know them. And until that's something that comes that's delivered to me in a, in, in a way that I, it's not, then then I'll take a look at that. But I believe you. Ha I believe strongly that in hope. I believe strongly in compassion. I believe strongly in in things that that bring me back into understanding. There's more. To everything than me and I think that people you know are as I talk I, I know there's gonna be there's a little contradiction in there to maybe what my hardcore message is around self-care first but if you listen to that message all the way through because a lot of people are just catching self-care first and then they kind of they stay tune out again you can't pour from an empty cup you can't be better for others if you're not better for yourself. You, you can only love, I firmly believe this, you can only love to the level at which you love yourself. And so that to me is, I think, an important thing so you guys understand where I come from on all that. I don't look at it as religion. I'm not interested in the subscribed Sunday morning service, Wednesday night. Uh, this whatever um, I'm not interested in those kind of things because it's it's it that's not look I haven't read a lot of the Bible I'm not gonna get into a lot of this but that's not what any part of scripture says it doesn't say go on Sunday morning it doesn't say do this it's how you live your life it's how you you demonstrate and how you th that that's those are the thoughts and what's important to me and um, anyways faith